when I was growing up, um, my family was huge. We would uh, travel to all ends of the earth to, to have what you might call reunions, but it was just getting together. Generally in the summertime, the places that we were about to go to, and that would be Bakersfield or Fresno, Madeira. Uh, we had scores of relatives that lived along that route, uh, old US 99. And even though we didn't stay at the motels, I was fascinated. We stayed at motels very much like that in Los Angeles where we didn't have relatives. So I got a feeling of what that was like. The highway was just festooned with places to eat, um, you know, kitschy little restaurants, uh, coffee shops, cafes, garages, uh, gas stations that offered uh, free um, toys with a fill-up of gas. Uh, a lot of things for children. Uh, there would be all different kinds of zoos along the road. Bakersfield and Fresno had them. Um, and for um, the kids also, I think there were people that would uh, be uh, ingenious enough to make their restaurants in the shapes of, of their favorite foods, like hot dogs or, or oranges for orange juice. So uh, I was fascinated with the giant orange. We. Sometimes we'd start in uh, Sacramento, the Sacramento area, and go drive all the way down to Bakersfield. I remember a wedding in Bakersfield, one wedding, that a uh, big Sicilian wedding uh, that was just fascinating. And uh, we would caravan, uh, picking up people along the way. There'd be relatives that lived in Modesto and Madeira and Fresno, and we'd caravan down to the wedding. Uh, but I realized that all along the route, uh, there were plenty of things to look at, eye candy, if you will, to uh, just beg your parents to stop at these places. And they, they wouldn't, of course. My, my folks were intent on getting there. So I, it, it fascinated me even more. I think if I stopped at these places, it wouldn't be such a big deal. So all these things loomed large in the absence of, of me being there, of me actually going to the places, just visually seeing them. So um, maybe the fascination comes from that. Um, but as time went on, um, the freeway, uh, the state of California decided to uh, upgrade old 99 from a four-lane road where it would go through each one of these little towns from Sacramento and Lodi, Stockton, and down through Merced and Manteca. Um, it would bypass all these towns, and uh, even though some of these places would try to move their uh, establishments toward the, the new freeway, you'd have to take a freeway off-ramp, and the real estate was getting too expensive, and so a lot of these places started to die out. The buildings are still there. Some of the signs are even still there. And in this show, I show some of the old signs and how they are today. But I do take some of those old signs, old buildings, and uh, exhume them, if you will, from the past and uh, try to show you what they look like, at least in my mind's eye, what they look like and uh, sprinkle them with a few people to bring them alive. Uh, and I think uh, it'll be for a very interesting show. I can't wait to see it myself.